And it goes a little yeah. something like Hey guys, what is up? This week I'm super excited to share with you guys my video about the create your own generator. In this video, I will be showing you guys all the different face mold, skin tone, eye color, hair color, and texture combinations to hopefully give you guys a better idea of what your future create your own could look like because I know that the CYO generator is not always the most representative of the doll that you're getting and I thought this would just be a fun video to do. So without further ado, let's get into it. Starting off with these skin tone combinations. The skin tone and face molds are probably the most intuitive from the Create Your Own Generator, but again, I just wanted to show you, these are currently all the skin tones available from the CYO line from five to 35, left to right, lightest to darkest. So here are all the dolls that I have with those representative skin tones, but I will go in more depth about each one. All right, so starting out with the lightest skin tone, it is the palest. It has kind of like a peachier tone, especially compared to the regular light skin tone, which is on the right. That one has a little bit of a more yellowish, more warmer tone, but that regular light skin tone is pretty much what all of the originals had. Next up is the regular medium skin tone, and the regular medium skin tone is actually a little bit more cooler tone than the regular light, but this is number 25, this is the newer medium skin tone, and this is the much warmer one, um, I would say, comparing it to the regular dark skin tone, that's number 30. Here we are, they're both pretty warm, I would say, and this is the original dark compared to the newest, darkest dark, which is number 35. As you guys can see, I had a little doll domino effect, but here they all are. Alright, moving on to the face mold skin tone color combinations. This is how the setup's gonna look like. I'm gonna pull out all of the dolls that I have of a particular face mold with each skin tone in mind. Obviously, I don't have all of the combinations, um, but I do have a good chunk of them, so hopefully I can give you guys a pretty good look at what your doll is going to look like. I will also be telling you guys which face mold skin tone color combinations are not available outside of the CYO generator, if that helps influence your decision at all. So this is face mold A, which is the classic mold, and I have here skin tones 5, 10, and 20. They don't have a 15, which would be like between um, regular light and regular medium so that's why I'm saying 5 10 20 anything higher than 20 so 25 through 35 is not available outside of the CYO line if you were wondering next up we have skin tone B which is the host of mold here we have skin tones 5 10 20 we're missing 25 30 and 35 Skin Tone 25 is actually available outside of the CYO line. That's number 82, and that's the warmer medium skin tone. So if you were wondering, and the only Josefina Mold skin tone that is not available by American Girl outside of the CYO line is number 30, which is the regular dark skin tone, and that's my CYO Juliet right here. But here you can see the Josefina Mold probably has the greatest range out of any of the molds available by American Girl. Face Mold C would be the Jess Mold. So so here we have skin tones 5, 10, 20, and 30. Obviously, Kanani was a doll created by American Girl, but currently there are no dolls with the regular medium skin tone Jess mold available for purchase from American Girl. The two darkest skin tones, number 30 and 35, are not available by American Girl outside of the Create Your Own Generator, and I am missing, again, skin tone 25, which is the uh, warmer medium, but that is available in Truly Me 79, if you were wondering. Next up is face mold D, which is the Sonali mold. I have numbers 10, 20, 30, and 35 here with me today. American Girl does not offer skin tones 5, 10, or 25. And then skin tone 20, which is the regular medium, which is my Evelyn, my 62 right here. She is no longer available by American Girl. So currently, if you were to go in store and buy a doll today, you could only get the Sonali mold in skin tones 30 and 35. And last but not least, face mold E. E is the Addy mold. I have here 20, 25, 30, and 35. I should note that I totally messed up and I switched my 20 and 25 in this shot, so please note that if you're looking at the little skin tone cascade that's happening right now. The only Addy mold skin tones available by American Girl 
right now are also 30 and 35. Number 20, which is the regular medium, used to be available, but again, they discontinued their dolls. So now a regular medium Addy Mold is no longer available by American Girl. And the skin tones that were never available by American Girl are the lighter skin tones, which is 510, and then the warmer medium, which is 25. But here I have her as my newest create your own. Awesome. So moving on to the hair, which I am super excited about because I think the hair and the hairstyles and colors are the most fun part about having a create your own. The only hair color that I do not have pictured here is the pink. I feel like pink is pretty easy to imagine. You can always go to Instagram to see certain dolls with pink hair but currently in my collection i have all of the create your own colors except for pink now here i obviously don't have all of the different hair colors and all of the different hairstyles so you are seeing some different hair textures in here but i still think i'm easily able to give you a good look at all of the different hair colors and how they range from each other so moving from left to right lightest to darkest we have the platinum blonde regular blonde strawberry blonde which i believe they call light red if i'm not mistaken the middle is red and then we have light brown a dark brown and then black now since i don't have every single hairstyle or wig style available from the create your own generator i thought it would be best to show you guys each color that i have in the different hair textures because the hairstyles may vary like in length or whatever but the texture is pretty much the same on all the various different hairstyles and i do think that i have all of the hair textures available from the create your own line so starting off with the straight hair texture these are like the sleek shiny hair textures i have here the platinum blonde or really light blonde blonde the light red light brown and the dark brown and while this style may look familiar from i don't know truly me's or like girl of the year isabel she kind of looks like she has this hair i have compared their hair and i do not believe that any other doll has this exact create your own wig next up are my wavy hair dolls and honestly wavy hair might be my favorite available from american girl i'm not sure but i do have the most dolls with this wig i threw in my victoria monet here just to show you that i do believe that the wavy hairstyle is the same on the create your owns as they are on some of the truly me dolls as for these hairstyles themselves i have here the platinum lightest blonde the light red the strawberry blonde the light brown and black it seems to me that they kind of vary in waviness just by how you store them and how you style them but they are all more or less the same and here i also wanted to show you that i do have the wavy wig in the medium wavy i believe here we have the dark brown and the light red I also wanted to take this opportunity here to show you the light brown, dark brown, and black compared. Then we have the curly hair dolls. This is just like the wavy hair except a little bit more curled. On the left here, we have the dark brown curly wig. And on the right, this is actually Kennedy. This is a truly me. And she has the blonde, like the platinum blonde lightest color. And I compared the color with my other CYO wigs and I'm pretty sure that Kennedy does have a create your own wig. So if you were wondering, um, if you're wondering what it would look like, you can look at truly me. I believe her number is 78, but please don't quote me on that and here's the texture from behind again i am so sorry i don't have more color variations to show with this hair texture but i think curly hair is pretty self-explanatory moving on to i believe they call this the natural curly or the tight curly wigs i absolutely love these wigs and i have them in these four colors we have the regular blonde red light brown and black brown on the left and right we actually have truly me 83 with the regular blonde hair and truly me 67 with the black brown hair here i just pulled out what all of the dolls with the long natural curly hair looks like and i do want to note that while 83 very very distinctly has the same wig as them her hair part is actually on the opposite side 
as the create your own and as 67's wig so that's just something to note and this is willow who has the shorter natural curly wig i only have one color variation of this hairstyle but she is super cute moving on to textured hair i only have two examples of this hair texture which sucks because i love it on the left is actually truly me 80 and i'm not sure if she has a create your own wig on they seem very very similar in style to what i can like see but i'm not sure if she has the black hair or if she has the dark brown according to the create your own generator so don't quote me on that but if you guys were wondering what the long straight long straight ish textured hair is i think it is very very similar if not the same to truly me 80s but on the right we have my beloved newest create your own and she has the light brown hair all right moving on to the eye colors now the first thing that is unique about the create your own generator is that you can easily design a doll with heterochromia there's no doll from american girl who has two different colored eyes and that is something specific to the create your own generator that i think is pretty cool but the eye colors themselves i tried to pull up all of the eyes so that you could see them and that i could share them with you so starting off with the green eyes i feel like american girl loves messing with their green eyes their green eyes and their hazel eyes kind of switch from doll to doll but here i pulled up my create your own which is on the left who has the green eyes and on the right we have truly me 78 i can guarantee you that these two dolls do have the same colored eyes and i gave you a close-up of 78's eyes because i feel like in a jess mold sometimes eye color is a little bit hard to distinguish as for hazel eyes this is janae and she was a create your own base so i can guarantee you that these are the hazel eyes that are coming with a create your own generator they remind me of nanea's they're hazel they're pretty green they're pretty green hazel but they do have like a black ring around them which is not normal for all hazels but are in these ones and okay i am so sorry i know i'm supposed to be like giving you guys a little create your own guide but these are the blue eyes and i honestly do not know the difference or i can't identify through pictures what's blue and what's dark blue because I, they had, do have two different variations i have a feeling that Catherine here she is a create your own and i do think that she has the regular light eyes i think that the darker blue eyes are more remnant of like sages more deeper turquoise this is victoria and she is a truly me 86 and she has tenny eyes which are the same as the light brown eyes from the create your own generator they're pretty cool they're like decal eyes but they do have like the rings around them as well and they are different than the regular brown eyes speaking of this is my 67 and she has the standard pinwheel brown eyes and i feel like we're moving on to a favorite but the gray eyes from american girl definitely are my favorite because american girl outside of the cyo line does not produce dolls with gray eyes except for like molly and ruthie who are both retired so three out of the four dolls that i have generated from the create your own line do have gray eyes i just thought it would be nice to show you so that you guys can see what gray eyes looks like in a couple different skin tones and face molds and that is it for today's video as with the previous video please comment down below with any other questions or concerns or any questions about like comparisons that you might have if you are thinking about creating a create your own having it shipped to you because i feel like there is a lot of chance when it comes to creating a doll with the cyo generator hopefully this video was helpful in any way i would love that and in the comment section down below if you have no comments if you have no concerns let me know what your perfect dream cyo would be you can leave multiple because i know there is countless amounts of possibilities but yeah that is it for today thank you guys so much for watching i will talk to you next time bye